in my last video if you did see the how to do the oil change on the 8-speed transmission on the Q7 um, towards the end when it came to the final um, topping off the oil um, what I did was completely um, not the correct way to do it so I'm going to show you right here the correct the way that I did it which is the wrong way and then this way which is the correct way um, as to why um, it's supposed to be done that way and the best way I can think about to explain to you the wrong way that I did it and then the correct way is through a picture here. So so if you can just picture right here, so this right here is the oil pan. Here's that bulge part where there's quite a bit of the oil pan and the magnets sit right here. Here, this right here is the filter and this right here is your transmission with the eight gears. Just a um, explanatory, it's not to scale or is that's what it looks like accurately. So. So just bear with me with this explanation hopefully it makes sense and here is the drain port here's that little green little plastic filler um, in that video I was talking about so when I did it obviously I did it within the 35 to 45 degrees Celsius range which is supposed to do so what I did was so I so I left the fuel to where I started so I pretty much left the um, the oil level about let's say it's about this level right here because you know it stopped pouring out from right here so what happens is this is when I had the engine off so I had the car off when I was doing it this way so what happens is when I do turn on the car on what's gonna happen is this the oil is gonna travel in through here go up here so it's gonna travel through the filter and then you know go throughout here and then come back out you know back into the oil pan so what happens is as oil is being sucked up into the filter the, the the oil level will start to drop once it gets to like within once the oil goes throughout the whole system it's gonna it's gonna keep on sucking up the oil until the oil um gets back uh, does a full cycle if that makes sense um then it's gonna so say that it finally does in reality then the oil filter and the oil might be at this new level now so this might be the new level so with that being said oil is not being sucked up in through here like a straw so that's the potential harm the way that i showed in that video how i did it with the engine off because now you can see when we were top when I initially topped it off with the engine off how much you know oil we have here but once it goes the oils get sucked up goes through all the system you know then once it's at operating temperature you know the oil could be down here which is a no-go because then the oil is not being sucked up through the filter anymore now let's focus on the correct way to do it with the car on so the correct way again within this temperature um, range so what happens is so what we want to do is have the car running so the oil is going to be you know going through the whole system so i want to draw the oil so once we have once we put on those nine quarts or liters of oil obviously it's going to be overflowed so what you want to do is have the oil go through the whole system you know through all the gears and then eventually back out into the oil pan so what happens so eventually the oil will drop down significantly not significantly but it will drop down but it will be within the range that it needs to be so that when the oil is being circled around through um, the oil is being able to be sucked up through the filter so now that the oil is being recirculated and it say it's around this level right here that's when you go ahead and open this up and while the car is still on leave it on and then let you know the oil to be drained and then once it drops down to you know the level that it needs to be like say around here and then we can go ahead and plug in you know the the little drain plug back in and now it's at proper um, um, level as compared to this where when it's in operating it's really low and when it's operating um, it is up closer to where it needs to be I hope this explanation did make sense um, and I do apologize for um, giving false information on that on that first video that I uploaded so and again to the individual that commented who messaged who reached out to me and let me know about 
you know, what, you know, the correct way. Um, I, again, I thank you for catching that. And yeah, so hopefully, again, this explanation makes sense. If you have any questions, by all means, um, write down in the comments and I'll be, do my best to answer those questions. Thanks and have a good one.